The vehicles that will be driving our taste buds to Flavortown are usually going to be just bread or crackers. We generally don't want anything too flavorful or herby. It's time for the big payoff, laying out our cheese and charcuterie board. You don't have to go into this with too much rhyme or reason. I'm just going to sort of localize different meats and cheeses by their varying levels of sweet and savory. We've got some ricotta and gorgonzola dolce. I've got parmesan, pickles, and speck on my left. Some artichoke hearts near the parmesan because I think that's what it's going to go best with. Smoked almonds by the midnight moon and grilled onions right near the artichoke carts, the triple cream up front with a healthy scoop of caramelized onion jam and figs, and then let's fill in the gaps with things that are probably going to be eaten on their own, nuts, fruits, and olives. And there you have it, one hell of a meat and cheese board. You don't have to be culturally or regionally specific, you don't have to be a city planner to lay one out, you've just got to experiment, try some new things, and see what you like, and I guarantee your guests will follow your example.